So today I created this duo chrome brown greenish warm smoky eye with this soft pink glossy lip So I hope you guys like this tutorial and let's just go ahead and get started Don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me and yeah Okay, so I'm gonna start off by priming my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut And then I'm gonna take my finger and blend it out I'm also going to take a small rounded buffer brush and take that and blend it out as well Now that my eyelids are primed, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder with my Real Technique contouring brush and set my eyelids so that my transition colors and the rest of the colors that are going on my lid will have something to blend into and have a smooth canvas to go onto. For my transition, I'm going to take Brown Script and Red Brick from MAC and blend this into my crease with my Morphe M443 brush. Now to go ahead and deepen up my crease and smoke it out a little bit, I'm going to take Deep Rose from Coastal Scents with my Sigma E39 brush, my Buff and Blend brush. And I'm going to take this in the outer corner of my eye in a V shape and then I'm going to blend it into my crease. I really want to focus this color on the outer corner of my eye because I want to exaggerate the shape of my eyes and make my eyes look a little bit more slanted and bigger. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M441 brush correction. I've been saying M443 but it's an M441 Morphe brush and blend my crease area out. Now I'm going to be taking my matte mixing medium and laying this on my mobile eyelid with my detailer brush from Real Tech technique and as you guys can see I'm kind of cutting my crease because I want the color on my mobile eyelid to look really neat so that's why I'm doing that now I'm taking tarnished nickel from coastal Sense, and I'm gonna pack this on my mobile eyelid and this color is basically going to act like a base and a wash of color for the color I'm gonna put on top of it I'm gonna be using a fluid liquid eye color so this base is basically just going to be my guideline of where to put that liquid fluid eye color now I'm going to go in with my Sigma E39 brush with deep roast on a brush and add some dimension back to my eyes. And then I'm going to go back and forth with my eyeshadow brush and my Morphe M441 brush and my Sigma brush just to make sure everything is blending into each other really, really well. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Sigma Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to draw an angle outward to line up with the outer part of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to line my mobile eyelid and attach it to the wing. And then I'm going to go back to my wing and attach my wing to my mobile eyelid and then I'm going to fill that wing in. Now after my wing is filled in, I'm going to go back to my wing and thicken it up a little bit more and then make it precise and perfect it more. Now I'm going to take my Mika Cosmetics gel liner and kind of tight line the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to apply some eyelashes that I kind of created myself. I have two strip lashes on. One looks like a demi wispy and one is just like a regular everyday eyelash. And then towards the outer corner of the eyelashes I have individual eyelashes placed on the lash band to make it look more flirty. Now I'm going to take this fluid eye color from Mary Kate in the color Rainforest. Oh my gosh, this name explains this color so freaking well. It has reflexes of blue in it and then it reflexes to be a brown color. This is such a beautiful color. MAC has a color that's a little similar to this and I think it's called Club. But if I am wrong about the color, make sure you guys check the description box and I will try to find the link to this fluid eye color. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. If it isn't, I'll probably tell you guys in the description box down below and refer you to another color. So all I did was place that fluid eye color right over the eyeshadow that I already had on 
And then once it's dry, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441 brush and make sure everything is blending together smoothly. Okay, so this is how my eyes are looking so far and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face makeup. Okay, as per usual, I'm gonna be priming my face with the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer because I have combination oily skin, I guess you could say. And then I'm gonna take my Baby Skin Pore Eraser Primer and put this in the center of my face and then smooth it out on the rest of my face because I do have pores, well, visible pores in the center of my face and I don't like to showcase that when I have makeup on. For foundation today I'm going to be using my Flory Roberts cream to powder foundation in the color me. I thought I lost this foundation but I found it under my bed and I really really love this foundation for like a everyday use because it's really easy to apply and it looks like perfected skin. It doesn't look like you have makeup on your face when you put this foundation on. I really love the finish of it. It's not too oily. It's not too drying. It's like that happy medium I guess you can say and I'm applying this with my elf stippling brush so this is with no makeup and the other side is with makeup so you guys can tell the difference of the foundation and if you're wondering where to get this foundation from you can get it from your mall I got it from my mall I used to work at um, a Flory Roberts booth and I got it there so just check your local mall and if they don't have a Flory Roberts you can order it online but if they do get it from the booth to highlight my face I'm gonna take the LA girl pro concealer in chestnut And then on top of that, I'm going to take my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Conceal and Correct Concealer in the color Deep. <laughs> this is not deep, but okay. Um, and highlight the center of my face and my nose. I'm really, really loving this Maybelline concealer. Like, it, I think it's the undertone that's getting me. I think that's why I like this. But I can't use it by itself, so it needs to be a little bit deeper for me to be able to use it by itself. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my Aesthetica Beauty Blender. And these Aesthetica Beauty Blenders did not last me a long time. I've literally had these since probably March. And they're all starting to like split apart and break apart. So don't waste your money. Just go ahead and get the real beauty blender. Once these all break apart, I'm just gonna go ahead and invest in a real beauty blender. So I'm just giving y'all my honest opinion about these beauty blenders because I don't want y'all to buy them and then you get them and they're like breaking apart on you. That's not cute. And I rather recommend something to y'all that's not going to fall apart really, really fast. So go ahead and, you know, fork out the $20 for the beauty blender because this one is going to fall apart in like six months. Or you can get the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which is like, I think, $6 if I'm not mistaken. But a lot of people say the Real Technique Beauty Blender still doesn't work as good as the actual beauty blender. So I guess it just comes down to the price and how they both perform. Now I'm going to be setting my under eye highlight with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, which I am loving. And I'm just patting that into my skin until it disappears and now I'm gonna take it on my nose to set my nose highlight and then I'm gonna take it on the rest of my face to set some areas I like setting under my cheekbones because it makes my contour look more defined and more sharp and then I take it on my mouth area because around my mouth tends to crease and I really don't like that because I can't see any crease lines when I'm not wearing makeup so I don't like the fact that when I am wearing makeup it likes to crease and that's annoying so I said that so it won't crease <laughs> okay as you guys can already see I'm going to be contouring my face with the true complexion contour palette from black radiant and the brush that I'm using is from eBay it's like a NARS look-alike and I literally love this brush for contouring it's like the best brush ever and it's really affordable so it's like a win-win situation so go get this brush if you don't have it it's the best okay anyways I'm gonna be contouring my nose back out with my Sonia Kashik blending brush from Target and contouring my nose is just gonna give my nose some shape and bring it back out because you know when you do all that stuff your nose seems to you know get lost in the sauce so you know we have to bring that back to the surface okay now I'm gonna be applying some blush and this is a blush from Black Radiance in 09 and the brush that I'm using is a Real Techniques blush brush. For my highlight, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow that I got from Juvia's Place or Java's Place. One of those words. But this is the Nubian palette. It just gives you that glow you're looking for. So I really like this as a highlighter. Going back to my eyes, I'm going to be smoking at my bottom lash line with Red Brick from MAC. With my Sigma E54 brush. Then I'm going to take Brown Script and put that on my bottom lash line as well. I'm basically doing the same thing I did to my transition area on my bottom lash line. So 
Now I'm taking deep brows and popping that brown color right where my eyelashes are so it can look like liner. And then I'm gonna go in my waterline with my Mika Cosmetics Gel Liner on a Real Technique. No, that's not a Real Technique brush. I don't know what type of brush that is, but it's an eyeliner brush and I'm using it to line my waterline. Then I'm gonna pop on some mascara that I got from the beauty supply store. Now I'm gonna go back into my Nubian palette by Juvia's or Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna take this gold color, which is very similar to Ember Lights from MAC. Okay, so the two colors that I just previously showed you guys is what I'm gonna be using to highlight my inner tear ducts with. The color at the top, the white color, is a duochrome eyeshadow, so it reflects to be a different color. The color that it reflects to be is kind of a pinkish purple cream color. For my lips, I'm gonna be using a clear lip gloss from Floyd Roberts, and then I'm I'm going to be using my NYX Butter Gloss in the center of my bottom lip and I'm going to smear it together. To set my face, I'm going to be using my Skin Denavia Setting Spray. I love this spray. And this is the finished look, you guys. The headscarf that I was wearing is from Her Given Hair. I will link it down below. And yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! If you guys hear all those kids playing in the background, it's only two. It's my niece and nephew. They won't be quiet. So if that distracts you from the video, I totally apologize, but I don't feel like filming this voiceover again. So yeah, and now my sister decides to vacuum. <laughs> so I totally apologize for all the noise in this voiceover. I hope you guys don't mind and I hope you guys like this video. So I am done. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, love you guys. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Zoffel clothing haul for you guys for the summer. I'm really excited about all the pieces that I got because they're like... I don't know what to say. Hi you guys. What are you doing? Filming. Okay. Um, I wrote a little bit. No, what I'm trying to say in this intro.